So here's our traveling queen, little update. This is the one that I went up and got in Arkansas out of a hive that I sold to the guy last year. Um, she looks like she's doing fine. She's crawling around, doing her thing. And I'm looking into these cells here. I don't see individual eggs, but let me show you something. I got scared for a second because I pulled that frame the first time I didn't see her. So I started looking at the next frame over and I found a bunch of cells with a bunch of eggs, okay? Now, I'm not sure if I can get the light right that you all be able to see. But here, I think you can see it right there in the middle of your screen, in the bottom of those drone cells. You see eggs scattered all over the bottom of the cell, laying on the side, just all sorts of crazy places, okay? When I see that for the first time, my thought is usually laying worker. That's always my first assumption, laying worker, because they will do that. They will lay a bunch of eggs per cell, and they'll be all fell over on their side, and they'll be all sorts of disorganized. Well, the other way that can happen is a new queen. So a queen that has just mated, just started laying eggs, she hasn't really figured everything out yet. And so that's exactly where we're at here. This queen, um, I actually, as I spotted her right before I started the video, she actually had an egg hanging halfway out of her back end and she was crawling around looking for a place to put it. So basically she's just trying to figure things out. She's kind of coming around as a new queen. And so she's learning and as she does, you know, she's laying too many eggs in the cell. She's not quite got it right, but she'll get it figured out uh, very quickly. She'll be laying just one egg per cell just like she's supposed to. But I wanted to show that to y'all as an example of, you know, again, when you, when you see a bunch of eggs in a cell like that, my first thought is always laying worker. And if I can't find a queen and it's a tiny little hive like this one is, then yeah, that's usually what it is. Um, but, you know, if you got a, a, if you got a good queen and she appears to be doing her job, then it's highly unlikely that it's laying worker. So I just wanted to show that to you, show you kind of um, what it may look like when it is laying worker, but also explain to you that it's not always laying worker. It could just be a newly mated queen making that same mess. So that's today's little lesson, how to, how to, how to try to tell the difference.